I started off by making a basic landscape and blending three different materials. I went for a barren feeling, a wasteland type of planet. I did put in some time to shape the actual landscape, but in the end, the materials of the landscape wasn't that important because most of the scene was covered with assets and you couldn't really see the landscape. After that, I imported mega skin assets, some mega assemblies, massive cliffs and boulders, and changed all the albedo tint settings in each of the materials so that the color suited the look I was going for. So I went into each of the assets material and decreased the saturation and changed the color balance. And after I did that, I started building the cave structure with basic shapes as building blocks. This is a quick way to visualize camera angles and lighting decisions. So this cave I was envisioning was a cave with multiple pillars and a big opening at the front. So some big floor blocks and corresponding roof blocks. And playing around with the light and time of day. So as you can see, we can already see what the camera angles sort of going to look like. So this is a really good cheap way to visualize from really early on. So you can kind of imagine what it's going to look like later down the line. I guess it's similar to sketching when you're doing a painting. Here I am swapping out the floor blocks with Megascan clip models. Used about three similar models and resized and rotated them so they looked different. And then I copied all the models in the floor and then rotated them to make, a, make the roof. So there was an issue with the Megascan materials being only one-sided and not casting a shadow from the back. I tried changing the parent material to double-sided, but that just made everything black. So I just put another model on the other side. And for the roof, I just put a white block over it because it wasn't going to be on camera anyway. And it was time to do the side walls now, using the bigger cliff models for the sides. So I made all the assets blend with the landscape using the runtime virtual high field. But in retrospect, that, that wasn't also very necessary either because we couldn't really see the landscape in the final renders. So lastly, the pillars were swapped out with long cliff models and combination of boulders. The position of the pillars were adjusted to cater for the composition of the camera angle when facing the opening side of the cave. So after doing the actual cave, the background plane outside the cave was a bit too plain and awkward. So I built a cliff face on the other side, so it looks like a valley. So I didn't want the background cliff to be too tall because I still wanted the sky to be very visible. So I just made the background cliff just tall enough so it comes into the bottom of the frame when, when we see outside. After laying out the architecture, I played around with the sky atmosphere settings and the exponential height fog settings to add more ambience in the scene. So if you play around with the second fog settings in your exponential height fog, you can create another more dense fog that lives at the bottom of your scene. So I made my second fog kind of crawl up from the bottom of the valley.
then it's time to throw some planets in the sky. So I made two planets using textures from solar system scope. I further adjusted the color of the atmosphere to suit the setting a bit more. I made a detailed guide on how to make these planets and planet materials in another video. Check it out if you're keen. So I placed them way out in the distance. After setting up the cave, the background and the planets, so I came back inside the cave, added many ambient lights and tons of firefly particles to add the feeling of space and layer in the renders. The holocron, spaceships, characters and other 3D models were sourced from Sketchfab. The details and credits are in the description. So I can tell you running all these particles obviously depends on your particle settings and post-process settings etc but the mycene was quite expensive to run when I turned on all the particles. So this is a spaceship way out in the distance and some TIE fighters so they are a little bit closer than the spaceship. So this was a fun fan fiction kind of project for me. Hopefully you found this commentary useful. Please consider giving a like and subscribing for more useful content. Thank you.